Next up on our Spring Sports CBC, oop, let me start over. Oops. Awkward pause. Next up on our CBC Spring Sports Media Day is the Madison Blue Streaks baseball team. Uh, another new entry to the CBC this year after the expansion. So looking forward to hearing a little bit about the Blue Streaks. Coach, I'm going to let you start out. Just introduce yourself and then give us a, an elevator pitch. What can we expect out of your team this spring? Uh, Coach B.J. Tittman, Madison High School baseball team. Um, uh, I haven't been this excited for a group in a long time. It's uh, We have a really well-rounded team this year, uh, top to bottom, one through 14. we got a bunch of guys that we can use in a lot of different areas, uh, pitching a lot of – you know, we don't have a Will Hendrick this year, but we have a lot of really quality arms that know how to pitch that have thrown a lot of innings for us. Um, offensively, I am really excited to watch this team play this year. We uh, we have a number of guys that have really gotten after it in the batting cage between last year and this year. We made a concerted effort with our lack of run production that it was kind of time to alter how we do things a little bit. And so we've, you know, we've relaxed a little bit of our defensive work to try to make sure that we're we're scoring more runs. So I think, uh, I think everybody should expect that one through nine and with some of the guys that we have uh, coming off the bench that we should be much more well-rounded as far as uh, hitting the baseball with intent, driving baseballs for some extra base hits, and hopefully uh, smart enough and aggressive enough this year that we're a bit better on the base pass as well. This should give our pitching and defense a little bit more relief, but I'm, overall I'm pretty excited for where we're at uh, collectively as a group and how the boys have been working. You've been competitive in the Western Reserve Conference, you know, tough road to hoe there being one of the smaller schools. Now you come over to the CBC, you've got schools around the same size. How does that change uh, the outlook for Madison? Just knowing that, hey, you've got a real real shot here to compete for a conference title. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, it's, it's hard to have the conversation without sounding disrespectful. So I don't mean it that way at all. But, you know, we coming from a league where the one year Chardon wins the state championship and Kenston finishes in the final four. And they finished third and fourth in the WRC. Um, and, and I think that the depth of the size of the schools in that league, it, it made it difficult for us to compete across the board um, day in and day out. But we still have been playing these CBC teams throughout the years. We've got some really good relationships and games with the guy, with the new conference as well. Um, yeah, there might not be a Kenston or a Chardon in there. I know Geneva is really tough, though. The Geneva's got a lot of good arms. They're really solid. Um, but we expect really good baseball. Hopefully it turns out like our basketball season did, where it's just a lot of really good matchups. And every team has a great opportunity each night. If you play well, you're going to win. And if you don't play well, you're probably going to get bit no matter who you're playing. So we got to make sure that we are staying on our toes. But I, I'd, I'd be kidding if I said it's, it's not a bit of a relief not playing Chardon and Kenston and Mayfield and Riverside and those teams in South and North. That has been a meat grind for a lot. It's a really good baseball conference. Uh, probably in the state of Ohio over the last 10 years or so. Um, but, yeah, so I'm, we're looking for – our kids know. I mean, we're not – they're not stupid. They, they, they get that this, these are games that are more for us that we're able to compete with. So, it's – I think it's stepped the boys up a little bit too, knowing that they have that ability every day to play well and, and stay in a baseball game, not have to play perfect just to compete. So, yeah, I'm, we're looking forward to it. Outstanding. All right, coach, I'll come back to you after I talk to the guys. Let's start right there in the middle. For the folks at home, introduce yourself. Name, grade, and the positions you're going to play this year. Uh, Seth Nagin, senior, and third and short. All right, so Seth coming in, senior year, a lot of changes, new conference, uh, you know, and, and you just being a senior. How excited are you for this new season? Uh, I'm really excited. Ready to get back out there with the group of guys that we have. Um, you know, like coach said, we put in a lot of work an effort over the off season, just trying to get better, hit balls harder, do the little things right. And yeah, if we can put all that together, it should be a really good season. And then joining the CBC, we talked a little bit about the size of the school, that type of thing. So you're, you're obviously going to be matched up a little bit better. Still some great teams in the CBC, but just from a player's perspective, playing local teams as opposed to traveling out to, to Kenston and Chardon, things like that. You're you're playing those teams that you grew up playing in little league. How cool is that to, to go out as a senior in that type of a situation? Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to see not just us and our team, but, you know, the, the other schools, you know, the Geneva's, the Lakesides, you know, see their growth as well too and see how we stack up against them. It, it's cool. It's cool to see from players perspective. You're an infielder. Talk a little bit about that group. Who else is out there and how's that unit coming together here in the preseason? Uh, it's coming together really well. Um, you know, I mentioned earlier about doing the little things right. Um, we're really 
focusing on those little things. You know, I got him next to me, um, who's going to talk a little bit here soon. But, you know, he's a senior as well. We need, we need more leaders on this team. And, you know, he brings in a great presence. And, you know, if we can continue with, the, you know, put the type of confidence out there on the infield, hopefully that relays to the outfield and the other positions, the bench, the coaches, and just everyone who's there to support us. Being a senior, obviously, uh, you know, coach wants you to go out and perform at the plate in the field. But how are you handling the, that leadership that comes with being an upperclassman, especially a senior? Um, I, yeah, no, uh, I, I, I'm going to embrace it a lot and enjoy it. Uh, I want to help the younger guys, you know, not just here on varsity, but JV as well. You know, it's the future of Madison baseball, you know, they're going to need to step up as well. And I want to be there to help and support them. Um, and yeah, just show them a good path. All right. And last one for you is just what are your goals this year for yourself and uh, for your team? Uh, goals would be to go and win a conference championship. Uh, it's Yeah, I think it's something that's very attainable. And if we put the hard work and effort in and continue to play good ball, it, I would be great. And then to just go out with a bang like that. All right, well, good luck to you this spring. And off Thank to you. your left, name, grade, and positions. I'm Nolan Thomas, senior. I play second base, outfield, and pitcher. All right, so you're a little bit all over the place. But, uh, you know, coming in senior year, you, you've got to be excited. Everybody is when they're a senior. You're going to graduate in a couple months. But at the same time, every time you step on the field, it gets you closer to the end of your high school baseball career. How are you kind of managing those dueling uh, emotions that you're going to uh, face all season? Well, you know, I got a great team here. They're all supportive. Um, honestly, I've just been playing as much baseball as I can these last few months. Um, I'm going to college to play. So I know it's not over yet, but all these guys around me here are supporting. Uh, really, really, really bringing up the morale here because I know I'm going to be leaving them soon. What uh, college are you going to play at? Uh, Otterbein University. Oh, cool. What led you there? Um, just emailing. I uh, played at their field. Nice field. I liked it there. So I emailed their coach, got in contact. Cool. What position did they recruit you to play? Um, pitcher. Pitcher? Okay. All right. So let's talk about pitching. Uh, what does that staff look like this year? Who are some of the other guys who are going to chew up some innings? Oh, uh, we got a really good pitching staff this year. We got, um, Ben Amos. He's going to be starting a lot. We got this guy right here. I know he didn't say it, but he's a pitcher. <laughs> okay. Um, He's going to be chewing up a lot of innings. Um, Alexander Davis and Eddie Gabora. Eddie Gabora is a sophomore this year. He's a young guy, but he's looking really good off the bump. All right. Seth introduced the, the infield. Why don't you talk a little bit about the outfield? Who are the guys out there? Uh, we got Evan Smith out there. He's a young guy, but he's, he's really improving out there and his bat, too. Um, Dom Lawrence, he's also – He's also been in the cage. We've been doing some morning stuff here, and he's been up here hitting. So is Evan. Um, we got Jack Harrison. He's he's a wrestler, so he just kind of got back, but he's 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 warming up to it. <laughs> yep, he was down there at the state tournament with me. So yeah, he uh, he had a long extended season, but that's yeah. great. All right, last one for you. What are your goals, individual and team wise? Um, honestly, just win the CVC title. Um, that's individual and team. We have a great, we have a great group of guys here. This is, this is the year that I've been waiting for. And I really know we can make an impact this year. Great. Well, good luck to you. All right, coach, back to you. We talked infield, outfield, some pitching. What'd we miss? Uh, I, I, the guys mentioned some of the other players, anybody else impress you in the spring? Yeah, we got a number of guys coming back. So that's one of the things we're excited about. We, it's, uh, we were pretty young last year. We had, we were really top heavy with, with playing time. Then we had a number of first-year starters who were in their first year that were back. Nathan Yarnell um, playing first base for us. You know, had our game-winning hit in our tournament game as a freshman last year. Uh, strikes out very little, puts a bat on the ball. Um, and we got a couple new guys as well. We got Landon Topko coming that came over from Riverside, who's going to help us out quite a bit. Uh, other guy, even our reserves, some guys, Brandon Kristoff and, and, and Nolan Albert. I'm not forgetting anybody, but um, it's – yeah, Brody Bonsila, uh, who's going to pitch for us, hopefully have a great year there. He's been working really hard. 
but it's it's for me it's the best group of, we've had so many guys this offseason really dedicate themselves um and I, it's we're, we're so much deeper it's going to be a different a different we're going to look very different this year we have in the past um and i'm just really excited for the boys because for as a coach there's nothing better than knowing when your guys worked hard enough that you're excited to see that work pay off for them and i i can't wait to see that for these guys they both talked about winning the CBC title, winning some postseason games. Keys to victory. What's it going to take to accomplish those goals? Well, we got to score runs. Uh, last couple of years, you know, was kind of Will Hender like feast or famine. And I, through our lineup now, I, I expect that our run production will be up. And it has to be if we're going to win games. We can't win games with five hits and two or three runs. It's just not going to cut. It doesn't matter who you're playing. Uh, that puts you in dogfights with, with teams in the bottom level. And then you got to play so much better against teams that have a lot of talent. So I expect this across the board. We got to get that run production. Uh, I'm hoping that our defense doesn't take a step back because we have been solid defensively the last couple of years, uh, making routine plays that should be made. We haven't hurt ourselves much in that area. So um, it was a bit of a gamble, but you hit a point where you realize that it doesn't matter how good you pitch or play defense. If you're scoring two or three runs, you're not going to win. Um, and our guys took that message to heart. So hopefully our run production is up and that, uh, the depth we have in our pitching staff and then our defense stays at the level that it should be. And that should put us in a realm that we're able to win a number of baseball games this year. Outstanding. All right, coach. Well, I appreciate you and the guys taking some time out of your day to preview the season. Welcome to the CVC and good luck this year. All right. We really appreciate your time. Thank you so much.